Hi guys, hello, Dali here, and today I'm going to show you how to play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles multiplayer on your computer using Dolphin and Visual Boy Advanced. Now this has some problems with some people, mainly they're getting a joy bus error. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So first things first, in the description I have provided you with all the stuff you need to set it up. The correct version of Dolphin and Visual Boy Advanced that I know for 100% certain work. So let's go ahead and download it, it's only 10 megabytes. And once you unzip it, this is what you'll be greeted with. First things first, I'm going to show you guys my Dolphin options. Under graphic settings, this is what I have. I'll give you guys some time to read it. Usually I'll play with VSync and full screen on, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I don't want to put those on because I need to fit it all on one screen. Usually I have a, a dual screen setup. And uh, I turn on some aliasing here and some filtering here because I have a stronger computer so I can run that stuff, as well as three times the native at 180p. I didn't change anything on this or this, so once you start it up, it should all be the same as what I have. Under options, this is one of the most important settings here. Under the sound, it needs to be HLE. I was doing this for hours because I had it on LLE and it didn't work and I couldn't figure out why. It's real simple, you just gotta make sure it's HLE, that's all. And otherwise, controller settings. You want to make sure you have two GBAs here for port 1 and port 2. If you want to use two people, if you want three people, you change this one to a GBA and for this one GBA. But for me, I'm just going to do two. So just do two GBAs and press OK. OK, and that's it for the Dolphin settings. Because remember, audio needs to be HLE. Graphics you can mess with, but these, these settings I know work. Now, start up your Visual Boy Advanced. This one, I have, it saves the settings in this vbam.ini file, so I will set these up from the start with you guys. You gotta make sure when you start these things up that the link is not set to GameCube at first, it needs to be set to nothing. And once you come into it, then you can change it to GameCube. But once you start it, you wanna make sure it's set to nothing, or else it'll give you a joy bus error and then you won't be able to play the game. So the first thing you should set up is your controllers. I have, t I have one Xbox One controller and one Xbox 360 controller. Just to show you that any type of controller works, just type in here, I'll uh, press clear here. Up and so up, just press up, down, left, right, you know, and so on and so forth. And that is my first controller and the second controller you go to player two and do the same thing. Okay. And you see down here uses default. I just keep it as player one for now, we'll, we will change that later. So what you want to do, you can keep the audio settings, the video settings, those are all fine. Under Game Boy Advanced, you want to go to Use BIOS File, check that. And as well as Configure, and this is where you'll want to use that BIOS file that I gave you. Press Browse, and there it is right there, just click it. Open, OK. And you'll also want to go to Link, Local Mode, Link, link at boot. So you want these two settings to be checked. And this one, make sure, again, stays at nothing until you boot the next one up. That should be everything for here. And you want to go to emulation and uncheck pause when inactive. So those are all the defaults now. And if you do another one, it should load up with those exact settings. Bring it down here. Options now, you can change the link to GameCube. You're going to have to change it back to nothing and back to GameCube every time you want to play and uh, go to configure. This will be my player one. So I'm gonna keep this use as default, but this one I'm gonna make player two. So I'm gonna change the use as default. I'm gonna put it on my screen, there it is. I'm gonna change this to use as default on this one. So this is player two and use as default, the other way is player one and use as default. So press okay. And this is, everything is pretty much set up here. So what we can do is we can start Crystal Chronicles. So you'll want to go to File, Open, and you'll want to choose that same BIOS file that I gave you. See, it's very important that the N in Nintendo logo pops up. If it doesn't pop up, then you did something wrong. But it might take a while, as you just saw there. And your game audio might get a little wonky, as mine is now, but uh, it will fix itself once both of these connect. So what we just gotta do is we gotta wait until these start. This one started, and it's 
red and blue. So that's this is player two and this is player one. So I'll show you guys how to switch that. Okay, so you can see this one started up as player two because it has the red. So that means it's player two. But I don't want that. So we're going to go to input, configure, and we're going to change this to player two. We're going to play use as default. Okay, options. This one we're also going to have to change as well, obviously. So since this one's player two, we'll change this to player one. Press OK. And now, player one's controller works. So we'll press load, multiplayer. And then if you haven't played the game before, it'll say that your memory card's corrupted. You can just reformat it and it'll create a file for you on your computer. Now this is my save. Don't, uh, don't even worry about the names here. Now sometimes, what your game will do is you'll only be able to move the second controller if you have a certain screen selected. So you can see with this I can't move the first player's controller, but if I select this screen then I can. You can see now all the screens are here, just like a regular Game Boy, but in HD. So I'll just go ahead and press out of these you see, I was trying to, I was trying to use the command list there, but I didn't have this screen selected, so it didn't let me. I'll go ahead and ready these up. Now you can see, it's really stuttering here, and that's a problem. You can't really play the game when it's stuttering, and even worse, if you try to focus, it doesn't let you focus. You just keep attacking over and over again. Now the way to fix this is really easy. It's kind of annoying, but it's, you're just going to have to do it if you want to play without stuttering. You need to go to your map, and you need to select away from it. That's all you got to do. And see now, now it's nice and still. And that is all. It's super easy. Just make sure when you quit to change this link type back to nothing or else it will come up with an error and that's that's the problem most people have been having. And also, you want to make sure that your audio over here is set to HLE. And that is all. Thanks for watching. I might do these again, maybe not. Uh, we'll find out.